What's up, you guys? Welcome back to Discovering Nicole. That would be me, your girl, Discovering Nicole. I love to talk about all things addiction, recovery, weight loss, and so much more. And today, I'm going to be talking to you guys about my six-week Ozempic journey update. So, we're going to be talking about weight loss, apparently, obviously, duh. Um, before I get into this video, I just want to say to you guys, let me move this back so it doesn't cut my head off. I'll just stand up. Um, I want to tell you guys that it has been a long time coming. I have struggled with my weight since I got sober eight and a half years ago, and I was miserable, okay? I put on a good front on, you know, showing that I'm okay and that I'm beautiful and that I'm not miserable, but for these eight and a half years that I've been struggling with my weight, I have been a miserable ass motherfucking cow, okay? Um, it's not fun to be fat. It doesn't feel good to have a fupa. It doesn't feel good to have your legs chafing together. It doesn't feel good to sweat in places where you didn't even know you could sweat at. Being obese is not the vibe. It's not the fucking vibe. And it's just something that got really out of control for me around 2019, right before the pandemic hit. Um, before me and my husband moved in out of before we moved out of our old house that we used to live in, which was a house that we were renting from my mother-in-law. My hair is driving me crazy. Hold on. Um, I was miserable there. Okay. I was miserable. Um, and I showed that miserableness through my diet. I ate a whole bunch of fucking carb heavy meals. I didn't have access to a fucking oven for five years living in that house because my mother-in-law was a slum landlord. Okay. Point blank period. There's no fucking, no excuse. Our oven went out. I asked her to please replace the oven. She never did. Okay. Okay. So I was cooking out of toaster ovens. I was cooking out of a microwave. I was doing the best I could with what I had at that time. And so I ate a lot of processed junky food. Just think of like meals you could pop in the microwave, okay? And so, over the years, I started out when I got sober in 2015, I weighed 165 pounds. By 2020, I was 247 pounds, and I was miserable and mortified. I felt horrible, I felt ugly, I felt uncomfortable, I felt all those feelings. I never in a million years thought I would become diabetic. I realized, oh God, a good six months ago that I had this insatiable thirst that I could not quench. And I was drinking, if you can see my little water bottle over there, it's not a little one, it's like this big. I was drinking like five to six of those a day and my thirst could not be quenched. So I finally bit the bullet and I went to see my family doctor and that's when I found out I was diabetic, which was about six and a half weeks ago. My doctor put me on Ozempic, and this medication has single-handedly changed my life. And I'm gonna list the ways it has changed my life. Before getting on Ozempic, I had a binge eating problem. I have binge eating disorder. I have been formally diagnosed, um, and it has been something I have struggled with all my life since before I even got on, uh, got sober. Before I got sober, I had these issues with binge eating. Um, I also would restrict, um, restrict what I would eat. So for a long time when I was in active addiction, I would go days and days without eating at all. A lot of that was because I was on stimulants, but a lot of other reasons were because I was restricting because I was afraid to get fat. And so when I got on Ozempic, immediately after my first injection, within the first three days of being on this medication, I realized that I wasn't waking up in the middle of the night binging. And I'm, I get emotional about it because this was something I struggled to control for so 
many years. For God's sakes, in 2020, I went on the Tamron Hall Show to talk about food addiction and binge eating disorder because that's how out of control my binge eating had gotten. I was tipping the scales at 250 and I'm only 5'5". Five five. Within three days of starting this medication, I had not binged at all. Then when I realized it had been a week since I binged, I knew right then that I was not going to binge ever again. As long as um, I have this medication to help me, um, I wasn't going to binge. And that's why now I am creating healthy habits and I'm training myself, right? I'm training myself that this is what, this is what you eat, Nicole. Breakfast. I try to start breakfast out light, you guys, with egg whites, a piece of bacon, some coffee, and my drink, my water. You know, then around lunchtime, I will have chicken, salmon, or steak with broccoli, cauliflower, carrots, Brussels sprouts are my favorite. And that's what I eat for lunch. And I do the same thing for dinner. And I know you're probably going, oh my gosh, doesn't that get boring? No. No, it doesn't get boring at all because I always change the meat up. I am slightly obsessed with salmon at the moment, but it makes me feel safe. I know these foods, I know how many calories are in these foods, and so I know when I'm eating this meal, I'm getting about 400 calories, you know? So I try to keep each one of my meals at about 400 calories a piece for 1,200 calories a day. Um, I've also started to incorporate working out. I've been going to the gym and I have been walking. For those of you guys that used to walk with me every day, now it's gotten so cold outside that me and my boss are going to, my old boss, Miss Brewer, are going down to the gym because there's a gym here at my apartment building and I've been riding the stationary bike, doing the treadmill and doing the elliptical and that is helping me so much. She helps me because she keeps me accountable. Kathy comes over, we go do it, we get it done for the day, and then I can move on with the rest of my daily activities. But having somebody to help me stay accountable is has been really, really important to me as well. But so many people have been commenting on my content saying, well, you're in recovery and you're injecting Ozempic. I don't know how many times I have to say it that I'm fucking diabetic. I found out that I have diabetes. I have to treat my diabetes, okay? My blood sugar was through the fucking roof. That's one of the reasons why I couldn't lose weight. Um, <laughs> and so I think a lot of people think that I'm injecting some stimulant. Ozempic is not a stimulant. Ozempic is a GLP-1 receptor agonist. It is not a narcotic medication. This medication has helped me so much, you guys. Like, I'm not obsessing about food every day. And I, I can go through, like a today. Today, I have, let me see if I can show you guys. I have, where are you guys at? I have Paco right here. I have, where'd Snickle Frit go? Oh, there you are. Snickle Frit right there. Rocky right there. And then I am folding laundry for the day. I just got done vacuuming. As you can see, I got my hair done too. Um, and I am about to do the dishes and just getting the house cleaned up on the weekend. I do this every Saturday. I do a deep, deep clean. I dust, I mop, I vacuum all the things. I fold all the laundry. And so that's what I'm doing. But I really wanted to come on here and share with you guys how much progress I've made. I've lost 12 pounds in six weeks. That's two pounds a week. When I tell you guys, I felt like I was trapped in my body because um, my mind was always on food. And unless you've experienced binge eating disorder, you, might, you won't really be able to relate. But if you know what I'm talking about when you have binge eating disorder, all you think about is food all the time. And that's what it was like for me all the time. I found myself leaning on food to make me feel better when I was sad. I found myself leaning on food when I was anxious. And that got me one place and one place only, obese with diabetes. So if you're in recovery and you are leaning on food, 
get it in check now before it's too late, before you get diagnosed with diabetes. Thank God I'm type 2 diabetic. I can reverse it, and that is the plan. You know, I've lost 12 pounds in six weeks. Another 12 pounds will come off in six more weeks for a total of 24 pounds. That's my goal. And um, I want to get down to 160 pounds. I'm 203 pounds today. So I really wanted to make this video for those of you guys that are discouraged, for those of you guys that are struggling with your weight, for those of you guys who have been diagnosed with diabetes. You know, I want you to know that there is a medication out there that can help you. There's also ways to get this medication that are way cheaper than going through your insurance. And if you guys want me to send you the link to get these medications, they're peptides, seglamatide, sem semaglutide. You can get sem semaglutide, you can get terzepatide, you can get all of these medications through a website and it's you mix them on your own You'll, they'll send you a vial and it's got the, the peptide inside of it. You have to buy sterile water, some kind of special water from Amazon to mix it and you mix your own shots. But it's literally $100 and that's it. And you don't have to spend $240 is what I had to spend with my insurance. Okay, so if you're somebody who doesn't have insurance and you are like, I really want to try semaglutide, which is Ozempic, um, let me know and I will send you the website link. I ordered some off the website. It should be here any day. I'm going to try it out and I will let you guys know how it goes if it's the same as my Ozempic pen. Um, my friend has been using this website and she's been on it semaglutide for like six, six or eight months and it has worked wonders for her because she couldn't go through her insurance. They weren't approving her because she's not diabetic. So, um, there's ways around, you know, ways around it, and I will help anybody who is struggling with their weight like I have for so many years. Um, I wish that I had been more open-minded, you know, a year or two ago, and um, I wish I had done this earlier. I just couldn't get my insurance to approve it. I got on Sexenda in 2020, which is also a GLP one, but... Um, I couldn't afford it. It was $1,200. I paid $1,200 out of pocket. That's how desperate I was. And so, um, you know, there's ways around that. And, and I will do anything, like just like I do for you guys with Suboxone treatment. I will help you any way I can. If you are, a, if you feel like you are a, a stuck in your own body and you are struggling with obesity and you feel like you're at your wit's end, you do not have to struggle any longer. And this medication could help you. And I do realize that it's not for everybody. I want you guys to know that I'm not a doctor. I'm just trying to help people out there who were like me. You know, do what's best for you. Um, talk to your doctor. Research it. You know, all the things. But this medication is saving my life. And I'll be a skinny queen by fucking summertime, y'all. It's going to be on and motherfucking popping. So, yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on how I'm doing. This is my six and a half week Ozempic update. I've lost 12 pounds in six weeks, and I'm only going to continue losing. So, I'll keep y'all updated, and I'm going to try and do, like, weekly updates. So, that way, I'm not talking about it, like, every single day. Now, I do make content about it on TikTok because people are asking me questions, but um, if you guys have any questions, put them down below, and I'll let you know how I'm doing. All right? Okay. Love you guys. Bye.